welcome back to my channel. I am beyond excited for today's video because we are going to get in the Christmas spirit. I have been craving to get in the Christmas spirit. We are waiting for our home to be finished. We are in the home stretch, so I can't decorate right now, but I could go ahead and buy a few things to decorate our home. So I'm gonna bring you guys along as we shop around different stores. And not just buy things, but really just get inspiration and get in the Christmas spirit and get excited for the coming holidays. So today we're gonna go to all the stores. We're gonna go to Target, Michaels, Hobby Lobby. This is the first year that we will have a mantle. So I definitely want to get a few things for the mantle and maybe just some minimal decorations for the year just to get into the Christmas spirit. So ultimately we're just here to get some inspo. Maybe you guys can be inspired as well. Before we get going, I do wanna thank today's sponsor which is Aura Frames. Aura is a Wi-Fi connected digital picture frame that beautifully displays all of your photos. You can see it right there on my nightstand with the holidays coming up or really any occasion. This would make an amazing gift. They have over 20,000 plus five star reviews so you know you're getting a quality product. Usually I'm intimidated by setting up any piece of technology but it was extremely easy. You just create an account and connect it to your app and then you can very easily select any photos you want to add, how quick you want the slideshow to be. It has so many great features. I wanted you to know you can use the code Jacqueline. This will get you $40 off your purchase from Aura Frames. This is one of their best sales of the year and not to mention they're having great Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales. So I will have everything linked down below along with my coupon code. This would make a great gift because you could actually personalize it before they even open it. So they can open it up and see all the photos that you've added. And I think it's just a really sweet and thoughtful gift. I can truly say I love it and I cannot wait to put it into our new home. I've treated my own like a personal scrapbook. So I added photos that were special to me either from our wedding engagement, trips that we've taken, or just day-to-day -day photos. It feels like a digital scrapbook. It's been really sweet to see the photos pop up and I've been reminded of the memories that are associated with those photos and it's just been really fun. So if you wanna check them out, I will have everything you need to know linked down below. Again, you can use the code Jacqueline for $40 off your purchase. This is one of their best deals, so be sure to check it out. Now with all that being said, let's go shopping and let's get some inspiration. got the caramel brulee latte so let's try it mmm very sweet but very very good it tastes like the holidays I love it before we go into the stores I wanted to share with you guys my inspo so we will have a mantle for the very first time I'm so excited I've always wanted a mantle so I want to get stockings I need stocking holders and I also want to get some garland because I've never had that really either. And we also have a stair railing. So I also want to decorate that with garland. And a trend I've noticed this season is lots of velvet and I love it. I love the velvet ornaments, also known as flocked ornaments. I love the velvet ribbon and this is my color scheme. I want to go with like a velvet maroon red, a deep evergreen, and then neutral browns and like a cream color. And my mom's going to let me borrow her Christmas tree this year because I wanna get a new tree, but I want to get them once they go on sale. So I think she has a flocked tree, so that's what we'll be working with this year. So I really wanna get the velvet ornaments from Hobby Lobby. They've been sold out, I've gone like five times, but maybe they'll have some, you never know. And if not, we're gonna DIY them in December. So I'll get the things for that. Let's go to Target first, see what they have, and then we'll go to Hobby Lobby. I'm in the dollar section. How cute are these mugs? These are so cute. These are cute if you're gonna make little treats for people. I really wanna do that this year. I don't know what you would use these for. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. I love this little gift section. This would make such a cute and simple gift combined with like a mug or something. And I love these monogrammed mugs. I love these initial notebooks. So cute. I love that. Stop. Tell me that doesn't look like Teddy.
It's mm. good. So cute. These are so cute too. I feel like those on the mantle would look so pretty. Wow. Only thing is my mantle's white, so I'm not sure. I'm looking for garland, but I don't really love that. Looks like the magnolia leaves. I want something a little bit more evergreen type of leaf. <gasps> Look at these stocking holders. That's pretty. I love this nativity scene. Has like the North Star, not bad, very cute. I love these little trees. I really like that pot. Okay, these are still in the bags. I've never seen that, but it's very, very cute. And I feel like that's like all year round, not even just around Christmas. Oh, I see. The trees were upside down. I love that a lot. Very heavy, a little too modern for my taste, but I think they're beautiful. Cute, very boho. Okay, these are so cute, but I'm having a hard time paying $15 for three ornaments. These are stunning. They even have brass ones, which I might get for our mantle. Okay, in one of my inspo pictures, I have the garland hanging heavy on one side and then tapered candles on the other side of the mantle, and I think that would be really pretty. So I think I might just do these black, and this could be used all year round, not just for Christmas. These bells are so cute, but I don't think I love the string they're on. They're like on a striped string. And I feel like they're a little bit more modern rather than like a vintage vibe. I am obsessed with these knit stockings. <gasps> I love them. This one's really cute too. Oh my gosh, for me and Sam, that would be adorable. Oh, where do I want the green? I am obsessed with this figment brand. I cannot wait to come shop for a new home in here. This mint green is everything. How beautiful. Sometimes I just wanna make like our half bath really cheesy. <laughs> I think that'd be really funny. I wanted to see if there were any Christmas books. I don't really see any. Ooh, that looks Christmassy. I love this green. Do I get it? This is so cute. Oh my goodness. I got one of these mini stockings last year with a tee for Teddy and I can't wait to put it up this year. I really love this wreath mainly because of that ribbon and the bell. These are all 30% off, but I can't say I love any of them. I got Teddy a red sweater last year when he was a teeny tiny puppy, and I wanna get him a big one, and I wanna do it before and after. Sadly, they don't have this size, so maybe I'll order online. Okay, these are so cute to label with the stockings. I really love these ornaments, they're so cute. I spy garland, let's see if we can find some. Or velvet ribbon a lot of colors are gone that's such a beautiful color Hobby Lobby was insane I probably got no footage it was like people everywhere it was very stressful they didn't have the garland I want so I'm gonna go to Kirkland's and then Michael's and if they don't have it I'm gonna try another Hobby Lobby and see what we can find I love these. They're huge though. Very cute. Love that. Kirkland's didn't have the garland I'm looking for, so I'm at World Market. And I just found out about this this year, but did you guys know that World Market has this thing called the Golden Unicorn, where they hide a golden unicorn I think it's like four in the morning and four in the afternoon and inside is a gift card so it could be ten dollars twenty five fifty or a hundred and they do it every single day and they give you a hint in the store so the other day I came in and it said next to something brown and I didn't know this that is so fun I bet they're all found today but if not we'll take a peek but I really love coming to World Market to get inspired they have the most beautiful Christmas decor 
it's definitely typically out of my price range but I love just looking around so let's go I really am not into any of these garlands. I want them to be floppy. Like I know what I'm looking for, but I can't find it. I am obsessed with these, how cute. Honestly, all the animals are getting me this year. I want an animal tree. Okay, this is so beautiful. Look at those details, this as well. These bells are exactly what I was looking for to hang with my garland, especially on the steps, or even like this. So cute. I'm having a hard time remembering what I got last year. I know I got bells, but are they what I'm looking for? So I'm like, do I get them? Do I not? This is the closest thing I've found but I don't want all that in there. I found these flocked ornaments, but there's only one set, so I'm not sure if it's worth getting. I feel like I would love this if it wasn't gold. And this is like too prickly. No garland again. So we're gonna go Trader Joe's. It's haul time. I'm gonna show you guys everything I got. There's a lot going on over here. Let's start with Target. Okay, let's start with the Christmas things. I did indeed get these candlesticks. I think these will look beautiful on our mantle. I also got these really cute dish towels. Green is usually our accent color in our house anyway, so I feel like these will actually be good all year round, but I really loved them for the holidays as well. I went with the red mug. I feel like it's so cute. I love having a Christmas themed mug and I can't wait to start using this. Then I got these two stocking holders. They're super heavy duty and I think they will look really pretty on top of the mantle as well. And they kind of match, so I think that will work. I also got some toothpaste, but that's not Christmas. <laughs> then I got two stockings. Guys, I am obsessed with these stockings from Earth and Hand, the Magnolia line. Look how just like beautifully chunky they are. I got one in each color, which I think is really pretty. They have a cream color and then kind of a brown color. Super stoked about that. Next up, I got this outdoor slash indoor rug and I specifically wanted it to go outside and to put a welcome mat over top. I think that will look really pretty. We have a covered porch on our house, so I feel like I can actually use something like this, whereas our other house had a really tiny overhang, so weather really got in the area. Hopefully we won't have that in this house, so I felt like this was really pretty. They had this brown combo or a green combo. I felt like this one was a better like evergreen all year round kind of thing. Not the color evergreen, but like evergreen usage, if that makes sense. So I got the brown since that goes with the rest of my home stuff. Okay, I did get a few things that were not Christmas, but were on clearance. So first of all is this brown knit blanket. This was on clearance for $17, and I think there was an additional discount on top of that. So I think it's so beautiful and cozy. This is just the perfect throw for over the couch or a chair. Anytime I can get a really good sale on something, I try to do that. And then this is the last thing I got. It's this pillow. It was also on clearance. How much was it? Yeah, $7.50. But I think I really do like it. I think that will look pretty on our couch or bed or wherever. For $7, you can't beat it. Next up is Hobby Lobby. I really wanted this specific garland from Hobby Lobby, but I guess everybody wants this garland because it was sold out which is really sad <laughs> i went to two hobby lobbies and they both didn't have it so i feel like it's probably gone viral and that's why they didn't have it so we didn't get any garland but i'm gonna be on the hunt for one so i'm gonna look on amazon i have a very specific vision in mind and i just need to find it i didn't realize how expensive garland was so i'm gonna try and find an affordable option that i still really love I did find something else. I did find the viral velvet ornaments. Now these are the dark, dark, dark brown color. I'm not sure if I'll keep them. I did consider possibly trying to paint over these, which leads me to my next 
purchase. So my plan is to DIY some flocked ornaments by mixing paint and baking soda together. I've seen this all over, so I bought a few ornaments and lots of paint options. So I really wanted kind of neutral, so I went with these four colors. We'll see how they work out. I'm gonna do a reel on it, so be sure to be following me on Instagram if you wanna see how that DIY turns out. And then to go with those ornaments, I bought velvet ribbon to create like the hanging thing that they hang from. So I can't wait to use this. I'm gonna use this for our gifts as well. This is my vision over here. So be sure to follow me on Instagram to see how all that turns out. And we'll probably decorate for Christmas. I'm thinking December 1st. So just a week or so away once you see this video. So be sure to stick around if you wanna see that. I'll have everything I talked about linked down below as well as everything that I showed or like talked about in the video but didn't purchase myself in case you want the links to these specific items. I wanna thank Aura Frames again for sponsoring today's video. It would make a great gift for this holiday season so be sure to use the code Jacqueline for $40 off. I'll have everything you need to know linked down below. Thank you guys so much for following along. I hope this video helped you get in the holiday spirit as it did for me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!